Hey, how's it going? And welcome back to my Skyrim mod series where I'll be trying to find Creation Club alternatives. And we'll be starting with a fairly new mod, which is unusual for me, called Wolf Skull Manor, which is in the countryside outside Riften. And for reasons that will soon become apparent, is a possible competitor to Shadowfoot Sanctum. And it's available for PC and Xbox One. Sadly, not for PS4 as far as I can tell. So anyway, the mod was created by Caffeine. NPC and he says this mod was heavily inspired by the canal home created by Eleonora for the original Skyrim. Now this is a mod author's first attempt at a play home so be aware thing, things can be a little bit on the buggy side but looking at his Nexus page I am 100% sure he will be updating it regularly and also be aware several parts of the home are conditional and this means if you don't have a specific item in your inventory or you haven't completed a specific quest it won't display Display or work properly until then so it's not a bug it's actually designed to do that okay to the home itself the house is in the rift on a back road between Fort Greenwall and Riften with a nice and relatively hassle-free journey to get there and it is a lovely little homestead in a really pretty part of Skyrim a nicely secluded spot for you to do all your nefarious deeds in private well, when I say private, you have Fort Greenwall looking down on you, but I doubt the bandits there will be reporting you to the authorities anytime soon. And we'll start with the outside. We have a meal for that garlic bread you're making these days, and if you're not, then go and see my Cooking It in Skyrim video, a shameless plug. We have a wood chopping block for, well, you know, chopping wooden stuff, a, a couple of apries for all your bee stuff, and a small vegetable garden for all your vegetable stuff. And finally, a couple of planters for alchemy ingredients. It's worth noting that a, a couple of wolves spawn just behind the house, but don't really come too close. And I did have a fight with a bear and a wolf very near to the home, and I'm not really sure where their spawn site is. Okay, I'll forgo the normal scenic shots and just give you a nice slow walk around the house. Um, on the left-hand side you walk in, you've got an alchemy uh, lab and uh, storage and some growing planters and a shrine. Loads and loads of static decor as well, which I really like. And I love that. Uh, so that's an ash brigand, isn't it, I think? Um, now you've got a shield rack here. I did put something on that and it disappeared. Now, that could be because I was playing around with my lo um, uh, mod load order. So, uh, I strongly suggest you check um, uh, all the, the plaques um, before you put anything you value on them. Lovely, really nicely done out. Not a huge amount of cupboard space, but enough. Book spaces, sorry. And this is one of the places I think you have to complete the quest before it'll actually work. And going down here and going into the kitchen. And you've got an oven. Loads of name storage. Yeah, baking supplies, fruit and vegetables. Yeah, the sink doesn't do anything. You've got prepare food storage. And you've got your meat freezer. Which is a drawer. <laughs> okay, and a place to prepare your meals. And your booze storage as well. And you've got your oven. And again, I, I know I'm plugging this video, but seriously, have a look at that cooking in Skyrim video. Um, there's a lot of things you can do with cooking, which is worthwhile in my opinion. Okay, so moving around and we'll move into the bedroom. See, this is how the size I like my homes. I don't like them big. You know, this isn't going to be a place with like uh, halls and halls and mannequins and stuff like that. Just everything you need. Yeah, 
working, yeah? That's sleeping beside your bed at night. And the old shrines dotted around the house. And that cool little uh, dwarven sphere there. And of course, beside your bed, the lusty Argonia made. And if you uh, sleep in the bed, you only get the rested bonus, sadly. So maybe that's something uh, the model author has to look at. And as far as I can tell, the light doesn't change. Yeah, the light seems to stay the same. Okay. So, now, we go down into the cellar and I'll tell you how you get the key. Okay, you'll find the key to the cellar here, plus a couple of notes giving you a clue to the whereabouts of a second key you'll need. And I'll show you where to get that uh, at the end of the video. So, all right, once you've got that key, you can now access the uh, cellar. So here we are in the business end of the house and uh, this is where you do all your crafting. Again, the attention to detail in here is absolutely fantastic. The model author's done a really good job. And seeing it's his first um, play at home, wow, well done, kudos. Anyway, got your little smelting pot. And all your smithing gear, your table, your workbench, sorry. tanning rack and uh, a load of storage. Yeah, you're all good to go here. And coming through, you've got a few more mannequins, a few more display cases, um, but also uh, around here you've got a lot of name storage rods. So this is also your collection collection uh, room, um, even though it doesn't seem like it's built as a uh, display uh, room. There's loads of places to put your stuff, and uh, you see later on. Uh, you've got a staff enchanter and an arcane enchanter. Now, this is probably one little gripe I would have with this. Um, I would like to see the alchemy table down here because I'd like to see all the crafting um, uh, gear in one room. Now, you can have like a duplicate up in the, in the top there as well. Um, but if you're doing like mass crafting, I'd like to have everything close by. I don't like running through doors, going through loading screens and blah, blah, blah. And in here's your followers room. Down in the basement, which is nice. I'm mean, clearly this isn't a place for, um, you know, a family and stuff like that. I'm not sure if you could technically do it. Okay, now this is more of a, a proper trophy room here. And you have a look, there's names and uh, stuff here. Now, as I mentioned earlier on as well, several parts of the home are conditional, this is one of them, and this means if you don't have a specific item in your inventory or you haven't completed a specific quest, it won't display or work properly until you have. So this isn't a bug, uh, this is a way it's intended to work. Now, I did try and cheat some stuff in, um, so I've got them in my inventory, but I obviously haven't done the quest and it wouldn't let me um, display them. So, bear that in mind. But it'll just look great once it's fully done. Yeah, it's looking really good. Okay, coming through here, if you're playing as a vampire, this will be your room. And there's further name displays all around here as well. And that'll be your bed or coffin. Yeah, 
Yeah, pretty cool. And we'll check this out, see if you uh, sleep here. Again, you'll only get the rested bonus. So I think that's something the model author should come back and look at. You want the well rested bonus. It doesn't matter if you're a higher level, obviously, but when you're a lower level, you want the training uh, boost. And coming through here, For you people who love a good uh, scrub down, and you've got a shrine to the better there in your bathroom. Okay. It'd be nice if there's an auto strip on this, but uh, there isn't. It's a funky little bathroom anyway. That's quite cool. But sadly, it doesn't give you any bonuses or anything. It just, uh, yeah, it's just there for role playing. Okay, now we come up to where we'll get the, we need the second key, and I'll show you what's behind the door, um, and at the end, I'll show you actually how to get this uh, key. And it brings you directly into the Ragged Flagon, which is why such a fantastic thief's uh, uh, home. So yeah, you literally arrive in the pub. That's fantastic. And to be honest with you, this is a lot better than Shadowfoot Santum, which is just the one gripe I had about a lovely home, but the one gripe about was access. Anyway, to get back into Bullskull Manor, simply go there and you're back in. Bob's your uncle. You're back home and you can do your crafting and uh, whatnot. Lock that because only thieves coming in, and you've got um, mannequins wandering around as uh, they tend to do. Okay, now to get the key for um, the access to the ragged flagon, you'll also you'll need to be a member of the thieves guild to do this. So you pop down to the thieves guild in Rifton. down into the system and then you literally run around the corner to this bedside cabinet and you'll find the apothecary satchel and the keys in there okay now it took me ages to find this and it really bugs me when they what authors do this don't don't do this don't make people just run around looking for things really annoying it's not it's not gameplay Okay, so there you are, Wolfskull Manor, and what a great little home and a genuine competitor to Shadowfoot Sanctum. It's in a lovely situation, it's well laid out for day-to-day -day gameplay, it has everything you need for a life of crime in Skyrim, and considering it's the mod author's first player home, all I can say is well done caffeinated NPC, a proper job my man. I think it would be great if it was ported to PS4, if that's possible, hopefully uh, it will, um, obviously I don't know. Uh, if I have any ripes, it would be not having the well-rested bonus when you sleep. No alchemy table in the basement, but I can live with uh, these uh, with no worries. I will, however, say I hate the running around looking for things. Normally, I won't do spoilers on Model Author Quest. I just find running around looking for things really irritating, and I just don't consider it gameplay. I'd rather do a difficult and time-consuming quest than this, so hence I put in the key spoiler. Anyway, that aside, it's a great home, and it's a proper job, as I said, before, and I think we'll be seeing some great creations from caffeinated NPC in the future. I'll definitely give this home a thumbs up. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Catch you later. Love you.